With its postcard perfect beaches, the sparkling Pacific, clear blue skies, and storybook backdrop of the Hotel Del Coronado, artists and photographers have been inspired by the beauty of Coronado Island for over a century. Gorgeous scenery abounds in the Crown City, and it's no surprise that visual and performing arts flourish in Coronado. One of the best ways to explore Coronado's art scene is to stop into the Coronado Visitor Center for a free self-guided public art walking tour map. 30 colorful and playful public artworks dot the island. Two favorite pieces are My Bike in Tidelands Park, which seemingly rides along the San Diego Coronado Bridge, and Sea Passage Fountain on Glorieta Bay by local artist James Hubble, who is considered San Diego's Gaudi. Right next door to the Visitor Center is a jewel in Coronado's crown, the Museum of History and Art, which explores the rich history of the island, including the prominent U.S. Navy presence, early days of the Hotel Del Coronado, and famous folks like Wizard of Oz author L. Frank Baum, who called Coronado home. Here at the museum, we have three first editions of the books that he wrote while he was staying here in Coronado in the early 1900s. Um, he stayed at the Hotel Dell, and eventually he decided to rent a home over in Star Park, and it's still there today, known as the Wizard of Oz House. So let's follow the yellow brick road to discover the whimsical charms of L. Frank Baum and his influences around Coronado. First stop, this humble yellow cottage here on Star Park Circle where Baum lived and wrote three of his famous Oz books. It's a private residence, but feel free to take photos from the sidewalk. Next, head over to the Wizard of Oz glass art exhibit at the Coronado Public Library, where the storybook jumps off the pages onto nine huge glass panels. Last stop, Hotel Del Coronado, whose spires and turrets were believed to be the inspiration for the Emerald City. Inside the Dell's Grand Crown Room, look up and you'll see four gold crown chandeliers designed by Baum. He and his family visited often from 1904 to 1910, and it's easy to see why he fell in love with this enchanting setting. Visitors can take a piece of Coronado art home with them. Multiple art galleries line Orange Avenue, like Art and Frames by Wood Gallery, selling paintings and sculptures by world-renowned artists. The new Shorelines Gallery has handcrafted jewelry, glass art, and chic home decor. Shutterbugs like me love the Dan McGeorge Gallery, showcasing photography from around the world. You can even learn how to capture and create your own eye-catching masterpieces at the gallery's Coronado School of Photography. Here at the Coronado Ferry Landing, stop into the Stephen Clayton Galleries to discover the secret art of Dr. Seuss, a wonderful peek at his most whimsical art. One painting, I Dreamed I Was a Dormant at the Hotel Del Coronado, depicts Seuss's otherworldly view of Coronado Island. Dr. Seuss had a long-standing bond with the Dell and could likely see its iconic red turrets from his tower studio in La Jolla. A visit to Coronado wouldn't be complete without catching a show at Lamb's Players Theater, the city's award-winning year-round professional theater company. The hilarious new comedy play, See How They Run, takes the stage through September 23rd. The island brims with artistic talent during the annual Coronado Art Walk on September 15th and 16th at the Coronado Ferry Landing, showcasing over 100 artists. Admission is free and includes live music, interactive art activities for all ages, and a free shuttle to Spreckles Park to check out the outdoor Art in the Park exhibition. Wherever you go in Coronado, there's a wave of artistic talent to marvel at, applaud, and enjoy. We hope you find your inspiration here in our island paradise.